Hey there, guy. Look at this little feller. The rare, elusive, sharp-tailed snake. Called as such for his sharp little tail that I'll use for digging. Pardon the poor quality. Sorry, I'm going to put a little light on here, you fella. Look at this little guy. Sorry to bother you, just a very rare sight. I want to capture this moment. He's just catching a little sun here. Okay, he might be dead. I think he's gonna, I think he's trying to find shelter. I don't think you want to go in my hoodie, sir. But we can use this to transport you. Like, I must dig. I must dig under the hand. What? What is that? Nope. Well, well he's going inside the hoodie. There's a snake in your sleeve! Oh. Well, he feels. Uh, see if he realizes this is not the place to go. I can feel him on my wrist. Let's just hope he's not poisonous. <laughs> he just bites through my vein. I bleed out. Crawls inside me. I'm like, that wasn't a snake, that was an alien. I think he's trying to dig into my hoodie, so I think I'm going to move him over to uh, the dirt. I just want him to get to a point where we can transport him properly. I think he chose me as his Pokemon. I think I just caught an Ekans, you guys. We just caught a level 2 Ekans. I don't have a Pokeball, so you just extend your arm and see if they go up your sleeve. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna move him to some dirt. All right, buddy. That's actually super cute. All right. Uh, before this gets a little weird, I got a snake up my sleeve. Let's go ahead. Transfer you down to this little dirt pile. You ready to go into the dirt? He might he might like it in there because it's cozy. Do I just dump him out? How do I how do I do this? I've never transferred a snake from my sleeve before. Bro, he's he's just like chilling on my wrist. Alright, hold on. We're gonna regroup here. All right, we're back. We got the snake almost entirely up the sleeve, so we're going to try and open the sleeve. Oh my god, look at his little face! He's just right here, look! That's his little head right there. Do you see his little face? Hi, buddy! Do you want to come out? Oh, he's so cute. What should we name him? Let's just make his dirt touch the dirt. I mean, make his body touch the dirt and see if he realizes he's home. You're home, buddy. Such a handsome snake. Yes. Yes, home free. Freedom! Freedom, freedom, where are you? Freedom coming true. You can get out anytime you want. No rush. I'm just saying. Hey! His little face. Look how cute he is. Hey, I'm a little snake. Oh. He's trying to eat my arm.
All right, I guess this is scientifically proven now that all animals love plush hoodies. Hoodies are cozy across the board. Okay, we're not we're not taking the snake home with us. So anyone's curious, I'm gonna I'm trying to release the snake back into the dirt. I just don't want to pick him up with a stick or something and risk hurting him because he's so teeny tiny. Uh, I can see your tail. All right, this is proven to be a little trickier than I thought it would be. Let's regroup. <sighs> I think he's about to come back out. Alright, here's the happy ending of this tale of Mr. Snake. The rare sharp-tailed snake. Say goodbye, everybody! Goodbye, Mr. Snake! Goodbye! Goodbye! I'm going to my leaf hut. Don't call! You, you can write, but I probably won't answer. Because I'm a snake, and I will be doing snake things. In, in fact, don't even write. I can't read. It's it's ah! You caught me. I am I am part of the leaf. I am one with my surroundings. I am the snake. like a jungle. Here, deep in the jungle, we find the elusive red serpent. Crimson serpent. That sounds better. We found the elusive crimson serpent. Known as such because he's, he's blue. Like he's got the blues. He's a depressed snake. It's very lonely. So small. Size comparison. Pinky comparison. Look at the tiny little snake. He's on his way to the dirt capital. Goodbye, Snake. We love you. Goodbye.